Good morning, church. I was glad when they said to me, we will go into the house of the Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. In the house of The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day. stuff. 
And now we'll pray for all those who are absent. Heavenly Father, watch over those who are absent from us today. Keep them in good health, protect them from all danger, and when we are together again, help us to make their return a happy one. In the name of our Lord we pray, amen. Let us stand and face the cross and sing what we believe. I believe in God who loves me. I believe in Jesus Christ who came to show me his love. And I believe in the Holy Spirit who teaches me. Right, friends. Well, good morning. And we are uh, moving on in our talking about love. And today we are talking about rules. Now, um, I'm sure all of you have some rules in your house. Maybe they are about um, when you need to go to bed, or maybe they are about um, you should clean up your room and what that should look like. Or maybe just things like, you know, how often you can watch TV or play video games or uh, some of those things. Those were always uh, really important in my home with my boys. We had to set some guidelines around video game playing and how often we did it and, um, and all of that. And sometimes it can feel like the rules are just, you know, making it so we can't have as much fun as we like. But we all know that really the rules are set by our parents because they love us and they want us to have healthy lives. They want us to have lots of interests and they want to keep us safe. And so um, when Moses, that little baby we talked about last time, when he grew up and became a leader of the people, he was given a special set of rules by God. He went up a mountain and God gave him some special rules. Now, Moses knew that those rules were just like the rules parents have for us. Those rules God gave the people were so that the people could be healthy and have a good life and so that they would be kept safe, so that they would learn to love God and how to worship him and that they would learn to love each other, right? And so we're going to look at what those rules are. They are called the Ten Commandments. And sometimes when we hear commandments, it sounds very harsh. But we want to remember that these rules are given as a gift of love from God to us so that we can live a loving and productive life. All right? So I'm going to get you to stand up, and we're going to count out the commandments on our hands. Are you ready? Okay, number one, I am your God. Don't pretend there are other gods. Number two, don't make pictures or statues of anything that might look like a God. Number three, be careful how you use my name. Number four, remember the Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week and take rest. Number five, treat your mother and father with respect and be good to them. Number six, don't kill anyone. Number seven, be faithful in your relationships with your husband or wife. Number eight, don't steal. Number nine, don't lie. And number 10, don't wish you had things that belong to other people. So these 10 commandments, these 10 rules of love that God gave us are important. The first four rules, I am your God, don't have other gods, don't make pictures or statues, 
be careful how you use God's name and remember the Sabbath day and take a rest are all about how we worship God, how we love him, and how he loves us back. And then the other six are related to how we interact with each other, how much we love our neighbor as ourself, right? Treat your mother and father with respect. Don't kill anyone. Be faithful in your uh, marriage relationship. Don't steal. Don't lie. And don't wish you had things that belong to other people all have to do with how we relate to each other and how much we love our neighbor as ourself. So we want to remember, love God and love your neighbor. And if you do those two things, you will be obeying all of the Ten Commandments that God gave us, and we will live healthy and happy lives. We are going to sing. All right, friends, we are going to sing a song about Moses. And this song has a sing-along that... <clears throat> that you will sing in response. And it sounds like this. Let my people go. Try one more time. Let my people go. Good. Every time you hear that, you sing along in class. When Israel was in Egypt land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard, could not stand let my people go go down Moses way down in Egypt land tell old Pharaoh let my people go let my
Our Bible memory verse for this week is from Numbers chapter 6. And I think it fits very well with what we're talking about with the, the rules of loving God and loving our neighbor. Um, because one way of loving each other is by blessing each other. So we are going to say together Numbers 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Numbers 6, 24 to 26. So one thing you can do right now is turn to the right and say to that person, the Lord bless you and keep you. All right, and now you can turn to the left and say to that person, the Lord bless you and keep you. All right, awesome. You may be seated. We are going to pray for eight families today. Today we are praying for Bridges and Baron Ellis, for Allie Engstrom Sutton, for Reese Irwin, Sophie Ewing, for Henry and Peter Fernandez, for Harrison and Henry Finkbeiner, for Everett and Nikki Fiore, and for Riley Fisher. Let's pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have placed us in families and you have blessed us with the joy and care of each other. Give each family calm strength and patient wisdom that we may teach each other to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Father God, we thank you that you give us rules not because you want to hurt us or you want to keep us from having fun, but you give us rules so that you can help us to love each other and to be protected and safe so that we can know what it is to love you. So we ask that you would help us to remember this week as we listen and obey those things we are supposed to do, that you are with us and that you have good things for us, that you want to keep us safe. Help us to love you and to love each other, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye, church.